Hello everyone, Raphael here from Time Stop Studios, wishing you all a very safe and happy new year. I hope 2010 treats you well with good health and prosperity. Since my last upload, the video that has the slideshow, I've had a few requests on how to do the water droplet picture. How to recreate it. This one right here. Okay, I did Photoshop her inside the water droplet. But what I'm going to do is, instead of just doing the whole tutorial, I'll do the Photoshop part as a different video. But right now what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up everything that you need to do so that you can get that same shot. The techniques and everything, the lighting techniques and so I'm going to do a breakdown step by step. Now, don't worry if you look at what I have for equipment and you say, oh geez, I don't have that equipment, I can't do that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to give people the opportunity to come down to the studio. I have classes available where you can use my equipment and we'll go step by step again and I'll go over every technique. But uh, the video will be put on DVD if somebody's interested in purchasing it. You can contact me at raphael at timestopstudios.com or give me a call at 774-955-2924. Let's get started. Okay, what I'm using here is a metal black pan. Okay, I'm going to fill it with some water and I'm going to set it up high enough so that it's easy to maneuver by putting my uh, tripod close by and we're going to get a, a, a nice angle here. Now for the, for the way that we're going to do the water droplet is we're going to use a tripod with a boom. All right, this is going to overhang the pan right here. Then I'm going to be attaching this baggie so that we're going to drip the water into the pan at a nice steady pace. This is the setup I have right here. The boom comes across. I attached a bag right to it. Okay, now it's going to drip into the pan. Now, when we set up the camera, we're going to make sure that the flash bounces off of a white board so that the flash is not pointed directly at the water because then you're going to just blast out the highlights and it's not going to look flattering. So, what you want is you want to bounce the flash off a nice bounce card and back to the water. Okay, let's get started. Okay, so here's the setup. The black pan filled with water. We have a white bounce card. The way I did it, I just kind of balanced a nice white sheet of paper. Because what I want to do is I want to have a steady stream of water coming out of here and it's going to drip evenly right in one spot. So as the water is dripping, I can create a focus on the water droplet. I'm using a 105 lens. Now this is the D lens. This is not uh, a newer lens, but it's a good macro lens, Nikon and Nikon D700. All right with the MD-10 battery pack. Okay, now, like I said, it's not that big of a deal, uh, you know, that I have this type of camera and you may not have this camera. You can still get a fantastic effect with, you know, some of the uh, standard cameras out there, like the D90s and, and even the D70. I have the D70 and I get beautiful images with that. So, all right, let's get set up and I will show you. Okay, right now, instead of taking a custom white balance, what I'm gonna just do is I'm gonna set it to flash. Right onto the flash for the white balance. The shutter speed, 125 at 5.6. Okay, so what I have my ISO set at is 100 
Uh, if your camera can't go down to 100, that's okay. Uh, you can set it to 200 on your ISO. Okay. White balance, I put on flash because we're just using flash. Set it to manual and make sure it's manual on your lens so that you can do manual focus because if you have an autofocus when we start dripping the water down into here it'll zoom in and out and drive you nuts. Alright I have my uh, SB900 flash triggered with the pocket wizard. I set it in the lowest setting um, on manual you want to put your flash on manual on the on position and then up and place it on manual right here. I set it at 128 power. Alright, my ISO is at 100. It's not going to make much of a difference if you have it set to 200 because all you're going to do is you can just set your power a little higher or a little lower if needed. So now that we have the water droplet, alright, if you see the water droplet hitting the penny, I'm going to manually focus right there with my lens. You want to make sure everything is nice and steady. You want that drip to come down right in the same spot. 